right, coming back with another trapping guide. Let me get my disclaimers out of the way. So, this is going to be my personal approach to trapping. There are infinite ways to do it. And as I found, oh God, thank you for following, oh God, <laughs> infinite ways to, uh, to, you know, have those missions laid out. For example, sometimes your ride the lightning has an entire cliff next to it and behind it. So... I figured let's do a trap series just covering missions one by one so this will be the first ride the lightning video for that for that matter uh let me know in the comments down below how i should do it stream chat overlay uh was voted by the stream chat they might be biased though so if you guys want no alerts or anything or anything i can do it in like a regular layout like the uh the regular daily one i could demonstrate here but i don't know i'm just kicking it off this way for the series because uh chat voted to keep the overlay on so Let's do this, uh, the other plug. Yeah, trap tunnels video. I got a video on my trap tunneling guide, link down below, a lot of the regular stuff that I use, and I got a video on all the best traps in the game. I'll try to link all the best perks for all the traps that I've covered, link down below. <gasps> Let's get into this. So, first and foremost, we got Ride the Lightning with Death Burst and Death Bomb, which means enemies are going to be healing themselves and blowing up our tunnels. That essentially does away with close range walls. Wall darts might be okay. Wall launchers might be okay. And it does away with, um, well, Death Burst means you're going to have to build in a way that's fairly annoying. And then, we're also in an ice storm, so we can actually use metal. You know, there's no metal corrosion to worry about, which is really nice. If you guys ever want to set up a Ride the Lightning really conveniently, you can kind of uh, hit your head on the ceiling just like that. No, I built it wrong. Oh my goodness, this, this van, this van is just being so mean. Alright, here we go. This is always what I do. I just build it like that, couple like that, couple like that, and then just complete it just like that. You don't need this wall, though. This is completely unnecessary. Blood King gifted a sub to Spartan. Thank you very much. I've now immortalized that gifted sub forever. First and foremost, anytime you have a cliff like this, instant wall launchers. We do not want Exploding Death Bomb to destroy these wall launchers, so I am going to ask my team to simply not shoot down here. I'm not going to put down defenders. I don't want these guys to be um, shooting off into our defenses, so I'm going to be putting all these up in way of the uh anti-air traps i could be doing anti-air that's probably the better way to do it but seriously this entire defense can be completely covered with wall launchers and i'm very happy about that i'm gonna put a couple of wall spikes uh floor spikes i should say they're not gonna matter because they're gonna get blown up by the death bomb something's gonna die up here and i know they're gonna go away i think these spawns are temporary so i'm not oh, terribly worried about it i can just wait down here and there you go Instant one shot. I love wall launchers. They're so satisfying. I could, on a normal mission, maybe put, um, like, drop traps here. But again, with Death Bomb, I don't want them to just eliminate everything. So, that simplifies that. We do have one ramp right here. And that's going to be slightly annoying to deal with and we can kind of filter out the baby husks in a very convenient way i'm not usually a major fan of spawn trapping i do do it a lot in my streams if you guys have ever watched my twitch page you'll be like hey wait you're lying that's true i i, I do fairly do it often uh I do it fairly often but the reason for that is because i'm lazy and it's easy uh you really shouldn't very often spawn trap because it's extremely inefficient in this case though i do like the idea of filtering out the baby zombies and that's for one specific reason and that's a death burst if we can filter out the baby zombies they won't heal the big boys as much it's kind of whatever but we can also do a recycling thing here so check this out first and foremost got to use the nature ceiling electro fields these will just do 25 percent more to the water enemies that is a very big win and here's the idea we're gonna put them right here out of the way of the death bomb i think six yeah maybe seven is uh this ramp is gonna die early but oh you know what i can do here instead of a ramp we want them to be tumbling backwards so we're gonna be facing this way with the uh with the floor launchers here and then just a wall launcher wall <laughs> just a huge row of wall launchers i am going to just build up all the cones just like so to prevent them from walking out in this direction just to incentivize all of them to not break through this wall uh smashers probably won't care i've never actually done anything like this before i'm not even gonna lie i have done similar things to this of course but i have never taken advantage of this spawning pattern because our defense is kind of over here their trajectory is going to be roughly a straight line so we can sort of plan for that but for the most part Wall launchers, here actually I can just continue to do floor spikes. They activate every other tile, so we don't need to go we don't need to go too hard, but that should mostly take care of it. And it's um 
hopefully going to be enough. They're all going to have to walk back to this or down here. So they're either going to get pushed off the map or hit by those ceiling electric fields, which are nature 144. That's going to be the most they can do. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. You can also put um, floor launchers facing up. I often find that to be redundant, and I'm not really going to worry about it. So if anything makes it this far... Um, we're going to kind of cross that bridge when we get to it. We do have a little bit of a ramp here, which I didn't initially plan on. So we're just going to make sure that nothing... Whoops, I'm a... <laughs> I did not realize that was connected to one spot. Oh, dear. Uh, I don't, honestly, I'm just going to restart it. Can somebody rebuild this so I don't have to do it back on camera? Actually, that one is not going to work. There we go. All right, my bad. It happens. Uh, we can't do... So I was going to put broadsides, but we can't do that. Um... This is where things are going to get really tricky. I am going to shoot from out here. So I want this to not be connected so that they don't path over. But what I can do is put wall darts down and hopefully that'll, you know, attack from a safe distance. That might blow up the wall launcher. It should be mostly okay. And because we would have stripped off a lot of the baby enemies, we're only going to get heavy enemies at the end. Uh, double check that that's nature. So... Ceiling electric field, uh, because that's the only thing that's going to be up here safely out of the way, because Death Bomb is going to annihilate these. And from here, it's going to be mostly up to the players to defend this. Smashers might get through. This could be an overkill defense, so I'm going to put wall, uh, sorry, uh, tar pits here. And if they run up this ramp, we want tar pits all around here. Tar pits will be the first thing to go, but uh, yeah. All right, southwest defense. This is gonna be tricky so first foremost we want to get the funneling in place just really basic um they have a long way to walk so they're not gonna be too uh too picky i don't think so we can just kind of trap it just like so these aren't gonna be super robust because you know with death bur death burst death bomb it's gonna be kind of a problem but we can hopefully place wall darts far enough away to where they'll do damage but not get blown up themselves these ones will probably go but i'm still gonna do them just to be a little greedy and you can you can be a little tricky so we're gonna go out an extra tile just so that the wall darts don't get hit by death bomb this is expensive it's not necessary but as you can see it's just extra damage uh nothing is gonna be out here these two are probably dead weight but it's a way you can be tricky and i'm gonna try it so it's not maybe not necessary or even recommended but i want to go for it because Death Bomb is not anything I've ever mastered. It's always a pain to deal with. It's not a favorite modifier of anybody, and you're going to see why. But I'm going to put a few ceiling electric fields up and out of the way so they don't get broken. And from here, it's going to be up to the players. I'll put tar pits to stop any smashers, and I'll even put wall darts just to eliminate whatever might get stuck here. And from here, it's going to be up to the players, which should be pretty easy. Archer, if you want to start it whenever, we're good to go. Um... I always want to say, in these four-player missions, I said this in the last time, in the last mission, in the Cat 4, it, never be afraid to kill the enemies. Like, this is a 164 player. We have four of us in the lobby for a reason. If you're somebody who can't find four players, join our Discord. Link below. Lots of friendly people over there. Okay. Lots of these are trending towards the wall launchers. So a lot of these enemies are just going to be pushed off the edge. We no longer have, have crowd control effects, CC. So these guys are just going to be pushed right off the edge, and I'm really glad to see it. They'll get hit by the tar and eventually get dealt with. I did not think about lobbers, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, we can just go ahead and put three anti-air traps should handle it. But as you can see, the recycling is working super comfortably. They're getting... Can I stand here, please? There we go. They're getting zapped lots and lots of times. The wall launchers are just going to push them right back off the edge. Archer does have max trap durability in our, in our party, but mm, I don't think it's necessary it'll help a lot but uh, we'll see how much durability they have at the end we'll see we'll, we'll see once and for all in this mission because those wall launchers if the spawns don't flip are going to be very active uh although they will flip on the next round so we'll see we'll see this looks really straightforward the enemies over here are yep mostly getting through i figured there would be a lot of player intervention that's why i'm running a pharaoh build in this case where we're defending safely totally rocking out to be a lot stronger i'm choosing blast in the past because I'm in a tutorial mode, and I want to not be dead at all, but yeah. Uh, it's actually okay in situations like this to have your team defending, in my opinion, because why waste traps when there's four of us? I mean, this t this side is getting completely handled. They're not even making it past that fourth one. Look, he's going to get pushed off the edge, and he has to go right back underneath all the traps. It's working really, really well over there, essentially as intended, and the wall launchers down here are doing great. Even against the smasher, it's going to be 
handling it pretty well, as we're going to demonstrate. Because he's going to be walking fairly close to the edge, and eventually he'll get dealt with. Let's see. Oh, he's going to rush. Oh, that's why we have the tar pit. Did an enemy just... Yeah, no. So, this is where players can come in and just really easily take care of them. Not even a problem. Oh, that was a bad idea. Uh, okay, I'm glad I didn't kill anything there because, again, counterintuitively, you don't want to kill enemies here. If those wall launchers get broken by an enemy, um, that's a problem. Although, we do have a tricky thing happening. There's an enemy stuck behind the wall. <laughs> and because there was nothing over there, it didn't chain. Take care of the lobbers. Ooh, take care of the lobbers. There we are. Smasher, that's going to chain a lot because of the other basic enemies. They're also going to be healing them at the same time. Yeah, Smashers don't get affected by wall launchers nearly as much, but again, pretty easy to deal with. If the uh, traps are covering, you know, three-fourths of the map, players can easily take care of the other 25%. So that looks like it's working essentially as intended. Wall launchers aren't infallible here, but nothing that we can't just clean up on our own. Carpets, once again, working 100% as intended. Stopping the smashes in the tracks. Harbor brought a minigun, and that is definitely a good way to clean up. And just like that, round one is completely handled. So, in Ride the Lightning, it's very, very tempting to just start the mission again. You never want to do that. You always want to be careful. Look at where the new spawns are. On our map, it looks like most of what we built is going to be reused, but there are going to be a lot more enemies coming along this route here. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade these walls because they are definitely, definitely going to break. I'm sure these ones are going to get busted out once enemies spawn. However, we should be okay because we can just do... I'm going to do metal because this is going to break a lot. Um, these ones might be far enough away. Uh, this is kind of a... Uh, uh, planned obsolescent situation these darts are probably going to break at some point and any floor freeze or anything is just going to be completely annihilated although this far back you really want to be careful about a free range smasher so i will put tar pits um i'm tempted to put floor freeze you know what here i'll do it i'm going to put this down knowing it's going to break uh facing away because they're going to stagger backwards and that's actually what we want here and Mm, that wall dart's gonna break i just can't do it this is essentially a ceiling electric field uh area they do have a pretty good area of effect so even this corner one should activate triple checking we're using nature here yes we are all right and then we can just pretty comfortably do this archer is running uh supercharged traps as well highly recommended if you guys want your traps to do more damage archer do you have a full build is it 42 percent yep yep so that's gonna be a very very strong one and then of course because all of these are definitely gonna break uh upgrade everything it's expensive to do that you guys but 160s are difficult missions like they're meant to be you know kind of expensive you should trap beforehand and you really only need to do 10 of these per week so if you want to just farm up for your session of 160s at the uh, end of the week that's definitely a thing you can do and also because i brought up durability this first wall launcher was used a lot how much did it do what it only used like 20 Ah, oh, these are gonna be fine some of these only triggered eight times these ceiling electric fields did a lot of work and they triggered 40 times so assuming they trigger another 40 we're gonna have we're gonna only use two-thirds of it all right we can start this mission whenever i think we're good to go this tunnel is gonna be pretty easy to defend we're on the edge of the map this is by no means the most difficult ride the lightning i've ever seen typically ride the lightning with like three-story cliffs all around it which do exist those are the worst to deal with but yeah okay Flingers are going to be a thing. Oh, boy. And they're going to stop moving? Yeah, flingers are always something that traps are just never going to perfectly cover. Unless you completely spawn trap, which is insanely expensive and not really something most people can keep up with. Uh, yeah, oh, these enemies over here are being completely dealt with. Oh, little... Uh, there's the exploding death bomb. Uh, constructors can help a lot with repairing the builds automatically, but... You know, if you max them out, they should last long enough. We only have to defend this for three minutes. So even if the traps start to break towards the end, it's kind of okay. It's kind of okay. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone. There's just no need to build anymore. Oh, the babies are going to be a problem. Are they going to get zapped? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. This side is working just as it did before. Did these wall darts ever fire? Yeah, once or twice. Not even a big deal. Not even a big deal. I love this recycling. I love autonomy. I just love this stuff because to me it's so clean. Enemies are just walking up the base. Uh, please don't throw that. That's why we have the anti-air trap. Oh yeah, did you guys know that anti-air can defend against their own propane? Yeah. They used to work against Death Bomb. It's my understanding that they do not anymore. 
It's unfortunate. I do not want to antagonize that propane. If you just let him... <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I didn't run totally rocking out. <clears throat> Can't save me from myself. <laughs> Matsu with the high emote. I just added that to my to my stream today. Did somebody run banner? No. Oh, I have to do the walk of shame. But, you know, if you have three teammates who are actually participating, uh, that is an enemy on the... Ooh, did I just gain a new perspective that's going to help me with the defense? Yes, I did. A flinger that I would not have even noticed if I didn't die. I'm gonna take that as a positive. Look at that. The mini boss got oh. knocked back. Like, someone revived it and knocked it off the map. Well, that's unfortunate. A little pro tip if you get. Well, not pro tip, but a little good guy tip if anybody wants to not be a dick. Don't ever be the guy to bull rush a propane, uh, mini boss off the map. That's not what happened here. There was an accident, but. Is he gonna get handled? Nice. How dare you? <laughs> he just flung off the map. So satisfying. In fact, here, while we're talking about durability, how often is this? Yeah, they still got a lot of durability left. Trap durability helps in endurance, but it's usually unnecessary in regular missions. So up top there would be a great example of why uh, defenders would be really useful. In fact, if chat is up for it today, I might even run this mission again and utilize defenders. But on the edge of the map like this, as you can see, it's really just not necessary. Um, I'm not in the habit... Okay. I'm not usually in the habit of building like fully AFK trap builds that's super expensive and in my opinion this is a 4x mission so I know I'm biased because usually people join my lobby with the intention of playing. Not everybody has a party. I still think if you're friendly and in our discord you shouldn't have a problem playing with others. I don't agree with people's ideology that they need to solo 160s. Um, I can understand it's difficult though. So. I still think that here we've got four people who aren't AFK, and traps only need to do 90% of the work. All right, so this is where they're kind of getting around that edge, but we kind of have a mini stall going on here. I'm no jailer, but we could just leave those enemies there. <laughs> oh, okay, he's gonna flex his Xenon bow. I'm over here being team vacuum tube bow, and these traps are working fine. Nice, didn't even need to shoot him. And he's repositioning, and it doesn't even matter. Man, these seasonal electric fields did well. If you guys can take uh, take take blah, blah, blah. if you guys can take advantage of a recycler like this, it uh, it goes a long way. And with only seven seconds on the clock, we are good to go. I don't know if I got my miss monsters. Oh, not even close. Well, that's fine. Might as well get one more. Easy peasy. Did we take no damage? Oh, we did have a wall break though. That's moderately unnice. Cool. Well, there's another trap guide done. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully the next ride the lightning I cover on the channel is a little more difficult because I thought death burst death bomb would give us a little more trouble than it did, but that was extremely straightforward. Uh, comment down below what you guys might want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.